Hello guys, this is Alex here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ocarina of Time. And you may be wondering, it's nighttime, and we're supposed to go to Death Mountain. Well, that's because I forgot some things in the graveyard. Well, first of all, there he is. There's Dompe. So basically, let's wait for him to go to this sand part right here. And wait for it for and let's talk to him. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's Heart Pounding Grave Digging Tour. What's going to come out? What's going to come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want me to dig here? Ten rubies for one hole. Yes. So basically what we need to do is you dig holes, you get rubies, or if you're lucky enough, a heart piece. So basically the hard part is you need to wait for him to walk to a certain point. It's one of these sand holes. And there's a hole right here. You want to fall in. Let's fall in this hole. And what's in here? Well, there's a chest there. Now basically this saves a lot of money. Guess what it is? This is a Highland Shield. If you have a Highland Shield already, you'll get 5 rupees. Let's use the Highland Shield. Basically, you need this Highland Shield in order to get Death Mountain. But thank you, we have it, so yeah, we have it. There's another hole somewhere. But yeah, oh yeah, Dompe goes to the same place where you started. But I'm going to tell you a few things that are in this graveyard. Some of these will be rupees. Other times, there can be. These enemies. This is a Poe. It was pure with being seriously darkening, so be careful. But watch the lantern. But he will hurt you. Use the lantern. This is a normal Poe. Crazy. Just follow it and you should be fine. And we need to wait for Dompey to get to the next spot of dirt, is right here. Dompey's not scared of ghosts, literally. Like, where he won't like, be scared of the ghosts. He'll say, Ah! Ghost! Good. Let's talk to him, Dompey, right now. Let's dig for 10 rupees here. And here's a 20 rupee. That's a lot. Let's see for that Poe. Wow, the Poe's still alive. We're going to get to this spot right here. I do see a soft soil ground pot, but we'll get it later. Right now, we got to dig here. Let's dig it. And our price is five rupees. And these five, any sand holes, basically, we need to do is check all these sand holes. It's random where it will appear, but basically, it appears in a random spot. You know what it is? It's a hard piece. Let's have Dompey dig here. For 10 rubies. Nope. Nothing here. You need to be careful because you need to make sure you're digging in the sand spots or else you won't be able to get the prize. Let's dig here. First plenty of rubies. And I think I just missed that heart piece. Not sure. Let's check all the other sand spots to make sure. I didn't miss it. And that Poe is still there. Wow. He's right there. Dompe, dig! Come on, Dompe, dig! Let's dig, Dompe. Okay, you can tell it's a hard piece if you hear that. Dude, Dompe, you gotta kill this Poe. When we kill Poe's, their soul will appear, and we ask if you want to put them in the bottle. Now, not the these pose can't be gotten. I hear Ghost Toilet, but we can't get that Ghost Ghost Toilet yet. So we'll dig here, and let's see what we get. Nope, nothing here. We got two more tan spots. It's literally random where it is. We got some more tan spots right here. So yeah, this does take a while. Sorry if it's just taking a while, but it's for a reason. 
And I see the ghost toe up there, but we can't get it yet. So even if we fire at it, you will not be able to get it. So sorry. We'll see if we're not going to get down here to this sand spot right here or dirt, whatever it is. Let's move, Dante. We don't have all day here. So let's take this spot. Nope, nothing here. Let's try. It's always random. Sometimes some spots will have nothing. Let's wait him to go a bit further. And otherwise, it was something. Nope. So yeah, this hard piece can be annoying because it's in any really random spot. So yeah, this is literally the hardest hard piece in the game because. It could be this or something else, but... Well, there we go. Let's dig here, again. Let's see what happens in here. Nope, nothing here. Mysterious to me accurately or else you won't be able to get anything. Let's dig here. And it's a one rupee. Now we're done with that, let's check these holes. Say this hard piece is kind of annoying. Paul. Oh yeah, when you're hit, you can't pick up objects. There's two poses. Dante, watch out, there's two poses. Okay, let's just look for something. Look on these grays for the hole. It's po. Nothing. 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 What's in here? Where are you, hole? Where are you? Let's see where the hole is. It's starting to rain, but we already got this stuff done. Yeah, it's still raining, even though we got the sun song. And the clothes are gone. Where's the hole? Where are you, hole? One of these has a hole. And there it is. There's the hole. Let's go in it, and let's see what's in here. And here we have a redead. We play the sun song to redead, this happens. They freeze. That's when you kill them. Watch out, they will attack like that. So let's do it again. To freeze them again, to make them easier. And now, excuse me, dead. And now he's put to rest. Let's play some song here and try it again. There it is. There's the chest we want. So in this chest, after we get this chest, we get the last Quotola, and then we'll just head our way to Death Mountain. This looks important. Could this be important to beat the game, or is it just optional? It's a heart piece. There it is, our next heart piece. So yeah, let's get to the last goal, because we and then we should be done here, because this is really the hardest heart piece. We better come back here when you have a lot of rubies, because, yeah, I can be in any, in any random spot. So here's a lot of soft soil spot. Let's put some bugs in here. Get one so that we can use it again. And put it away. Get your sword ready. Here he comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Anytime now. Let's try it again. It takes a while to do it. Where are you, Ghost Katola? Oh, this bug isn't going into the soil. There he goes. Let's wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Did do it in the morning. Let's try that again. Bye bye, Skulls Katoa. Bye bye, Dompe. Let's get it. Okay, this is going to be the last thing we're going to do before we can go to the next area, which is Death Mountain. 
So yeah, last thing before we go to Death Mountain. Let's try this again. Did stay time? Let's try it again. I'm getting the bugs. You know, I think I already got it. I'm not sure. I think I got it already. Just want to make sure of that. But, but that, let's just go ahead to go to Death Mountain because there's nothing else we can do. Yeah, we're done here. So, sorry for the waste of time, but we gotta hit the Death Mountain right now. So, yeah, let's go there. Let's stop wasting some time. All day long, we are working on many construction projects in the village. It's going to take a while before everything is done. Our boss works us very hard. Okay, this, he says the same thing. Yeah, they all walk like that. They all walk around like that. Like, seriously. Okay, you see this guy? Showing the letter. Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwritten writing. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Wahahaha! -ha -ha. What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Wahahaha! -ha -ha. Door opens. And we can go to Death Mountain. By the way, Mr. Hero. If you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're going to do it already, well, don't worry about it. Now I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it. It's because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the happy mask shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone's talking about it. Wow. That's suspicious. My little boy pressures me for a poly mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sign. Um, okay, guys. Here is the mask side quest. We won't be doing that until we, like... Do some stuff at Death Mountain. So yeah, here we go. Death Mountain Trail. The next area of the game. So here we go. Let's climb up. Kill these guys. Okay, oh wait. Let's see what they are. These are called Red Tektites. It jumps. Angus are short to kill it. They take out half damage. And out here goes Katola. Now then, we need to remember the sound. Because we need it. For this area. Also, to get the last gold Katola in the dungeon we're going into. AKA the inside Dagger Tree, not the dungeon we're going into. Yeah. But we also need another item too. And this rug looks blocked. This is just a block. This is the Dodongo's Cavern. Don't answer off permission. Who is this? This is a Goron. Speak to him. I am one of the Gorons, the stone eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. Ganondorf! If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. So yeah, we have to go up to Goron City, which is the next area you're supposed to go to. And if you might have guessed, guys, for anyone who doesn't play Ocarina of Time, yes, I have some people watch this who don't play Ocarina of Time. There's another Goron. Let's like to see this one. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? We can climb up Death Mountain yet. We have to go to Goron City. 
So yeah, watch over these gorns rolling, and let's play the sun song right now because I feel like it. Yes, I feel like playing the sun song. Yeah. Let's do this. Throw these rocks because I feel like it. Don't give me some hearts if you need them. This is actually the entrance to Grand City, so let's go in. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goron City. Home of the Gorons. Let's talk this Goron. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We're in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongles Cavern. We grow and live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongles Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. So I want to eat the top siren rocks from the Dodongles Cavern. Oh jeez. Aw oh, man, this is going to be lame. Well, we got to climb this rope. If climb this rope, be careful, so. Let's go on here. Let's just check this. It looks like something used to be set in the stand. Let's look this for on. Hey! It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fail fall down. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone. Well, too bad it's not here. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here? No. You don't mean... I was so hungry that I thought I would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck out here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Hey, it's us! So yeah, there's a lot of Gorons here. Let's see how snug this is. You're standing on a soft carpet for guests. It feels so plush under your feet. We play the ocarina, and since we're really fine messenger, we need to play our song. So let's play Zelda's lullaby to open this door. The door will open. And here we meet. This is Big Brother. This is Darunia. What the heck are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. As Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, where he lost so much status we treated like the, the sworn brother, the king. Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern! We asked Borharmus for such a crop the bomb flowers. Starvation hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need help from strangers. Yo, I think we need to cool down. Guys, warning. We're about to show the best scene in the entire game. But for the time looking, we're gonna show it next time. Sorry guys. Because yeah, that's a long scene. Sorry guys, this is Alex here. And next time, we're going to show you guys the best scene in the entire game. So yeah, 